Hey, this is Pastor Seth here with you again. And I just want us to, to focus on the scriptures, not just what I want, but it's what God wants. You know, we're living in a time that is crazy. And I know for me personally, I need, I need to pour the scriptures over my heart and over my, my mind and into my soul on a regular basis. I need them to wash uh, away my anxiety and my fear, and I need to, them to help nourish trust in faith in what God is doing and what God has promised. I, I just need that. I need that every day. And I pray that you you just would get in the scriptures. That maybe this would encourage you or maybe it would be um, something that spurs you on, something that gives you an idea. But, but to be in the scriptures for ourselves is so, so important to our spiritual life. And I'm just going to, I just picked up the other day, I picked up the book of First Peter and I've got here something called the ESV Scripture Journal. Looks like this. We've been using these at Bethel, and um, just a nice little thing. It's got the the text of the scripture on one side, and then it's got a place for notes on the other side. Just real handy for a few bucks. You could pick one of these up, and they have them for all the books of the Bible. This one is First and Second Peter and Jude. And I was just I flipped to First Peter yesterday, and I was just reading it and thinking about it and it was just so encouraging and I just want to read a first the first couple verses and just kind of walk through it in the next few uh, days weeks I don't know how long it's going to take um, but just a little verse by verse Peter Peter of course is the the disciple Peter the one who denied Jesus the one who was with him for three years he says Peter an apostle of Jesus Christ to those who are elect exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. That's Asia Minor, probably modern-day Turkey or thereabouts, according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Now that is a deep, rich statement, the foreknowledge of God the Father. These people are elect exiles according to the foreknowledge of God the Father in the sanctification, the, the, the holiness that is given them by the Spirit of the Spirit, for obedience, this is their purpose, for obedience to Jesus Christ and for sprinkling with his blood. I mean, that is just, uh, that's a statement right there. Peter is not messing around. He says, may grace and peace be multiplied to you. And friend, that's, that's what God wants to bring us in the scriptures, his grace and his peace. He wants to speak that to us. He wants us to know that we are elect exiles. This world is not our home. We shouldn't be too comfortable. If it feels uncomfortable right now, that is the natural and right state of things. And frankly, probably for too long, I've been too comfortable. I haven't lived as an exile. I've, I've been living as something else. He says all that, that is because of the foreknowledge of God the Father, the one who knows all things. And is working everything according to his will. In the sanctification of the Spirit, the one who comes in and makes us new, gives us a new nature. For obedience, that's a, the purpose for which we live. You know, Peter, Peter denied Jesus, and then Jesus, Jesus came and gave him work to do. He said, feed my sheep, feed my lambs, take, take care of these ones. He gave him work to do. And for sprinkling with his blood, purification with his blood. Man, I, I just, those truths are so good and so rich, and I need them. I need to know them. I need to meditate on them. I'm an elect exile by the foreknowledge of God, the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ and sprinkling with his blood. And he wants to bring me his grace and peace even today.